Always some lovely, lovely messages from good friends, so much appreciated. Thank you. Yeah, so um, what's been going on? Well, first of all, a lovely little package from Jeff arrived um, my, over a week ago now. Um, and he knows I'm a bit of a, a fan of this <laughs> with a coffee in the morning. We can't get it here in the UK. And he sent me um, three packs of um, an American um, tobacco. Uh, is it a, 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 a drugstore tobacco? We haven't got drugstores. We've got kind of supermarket um supermarkets here you can get some Bruno and Clan and uh, things like that but that's still 15 pounds a pouch I think these are only about five maybe six maybe less um, dollars which is quite extraordinary because this with a coffee in the morning is absolutely wonderful it's got a very strange topping um, which I quite is quite quirky I like it <laughs> It reminds me of the smell of uh, Play-Doh, um, which I think I've mentioned before. And uh, it burns off you know, four, five, six puffs. Um, and you're left with quite a nice flavour of kind of burly and uh, um, a mild topping is left. But yeah, with a cup of coffee in the morning. Fantastic. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you very much. Um, he also sent me a tin, uh, which I'm... I cracked open and I'm smoking this week. Of uh, one of my favourite English blends, uh, Squadron Leader uh, by Sam Goweth. Absolutely fantastic. This is um, a lot of people don't like it. <laughs> I've never understood why. It's um, a really, really good English mixture and perfect for this weather, which uh, is actually sunny now, but we've had a lot of rain here in the UK, uh, very, very windy, and um, you know, it's just nice to sit in here and uh, have a few bowls of a really good English, and I, I love that little design there. Um, yeah, I've got a few of the... Um, Ones with Perique in as well, which I like, sat in the cellar. I hope they re-release that at some time, because that was lovely. So, thank you so much, Jeff. I really appreciate your kindness and, uh, yeah, thinking of me. Um, what's been going on? Well, uh, I saw this morning that uh, Smoking Pipes have released some gold block in tins from 2016. And um, on, on their website, they say that gold block is no more for the United States market. Um, we can still get it here in the UK. I don't know if it's being phased out or, or what. Uh, but um, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it much at all. It's a Virginia Burley blend that's very... You couldn't have a more bland smoke if you tried, to be honest. It's uh, flavourless, absolutely flavourless. I think with age, like everything, it's probably okay. But um, certainly from the, the pouches in the UK that I've smoked when there's nothing else around, didn't like it really, just quite boring. Um, uh, the only time I've bought it really is to mix with... Um, Mixed with um, St. Bruno Ready Rubbed to make a, to make a mixture called, um, well some people call it Ogden's Mixture, I, I call it the Golden Saint because uh, that's what I was told it was called quite a few years ago but um, Maybe it's changed now, but I, you know, the Golden Saint, Ogden's Mixture, it's the same thing, isn't it? And it's a 50, fix, 50 mix of Gold Block and uh, St. Bruno Ready Rubbed, which uh, St. Bruno being probably the most popular pipe tobacco in the United Kingdom, still, I think. My uh, local tobacconist 
Seaford News. Um, sells gold block, clan, uh, which I, I, I've never liked at all. I don't really understand uh, people who do like it. Um, very strange topping, overly, uh, you know, for novice smokers who try a pouch of clan, immediately get tongue bite and say how horrible pipe smoking is. It's not good, is it? Um, it's much better to start on something. You know, I started on a cherry aromatic, which um, is called uh, Top Black Cherry, which I still think you can get in the UK. And uh, it eases you into pipe smoking. And then you start on the other brands like St Bruno and um, Gold Block and uh, Clan. And um, of course, another popular one in the UK is Condor, um, Condor Green, which is uh, I don't like at all. But I really like the brown, which is the flake. Condor, ready rubbed, it's called. Um, sorry, no, it's not. It's called Condor Long Cut, which is the flake version, which I like. But, um, you can find all these tobaccos in supermarkets still in the UK, which is really good. I bought, um, not last week, but the week before, 50 grams of St. Bruno from my local Tesco's and was absolutely shocked <laughs> by the price. Oh, dear me. So, um, I went into town. I used to buy a pouch of St. Bruno, 50 grams, every single week. And um, I've gone down to every month now because the price of a pouch of St. Bruno from uh, my Tesco's is £16.50. Yeah, that's about, I think, $23 maybe. Uh, yeah, probably about $23. It's a lot of money, isn't it, for a 50 gram pouch of uh, you know, a uh, <coughs> tobacco. But yeah, I've always liked it. Before that, I used to smoke something called uh, Highland Sliced, um, which we used to get here in the UK. I don't know if you got it in, in Europe or in the States, if uh, anyone's watching from, from there. Um, but it was a lovely tobacco made by John Sinclair, and um, it had a lovely um, Lakeland floral essence, but it was a good, solid tobacco in flake form. Um, and when it stopped, it must have been about nine, ten years ago now, I went back onto St Bruno, um, ready rubbed until the world of the internet opened up to me. <laughs> and I realised um, in about 20, must have been about 2012, maybe 20, maybe about 2012, ten years ago, there was other pipe smokers and... Uh, People who, um, yeah, who would sell me tobacco from <laughs> from their uh, country. Um, so yeah, I I um, can't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> I was talking about um, that's it. Uh, gold block, gold block is no more for the US. So go on to smoking pipes. They've got twenty, uh, quite a few tins from 2016. So you know, five odd years age on it it's uh i think they're about 12 10 10 11 dollars maybe which is pretty good isn't it it's not worth me buying it because the postage is about six dollars um just for one tin which uh when you can get the pouches over here there's no point and i don't it's not a favorite of mine anyway um i've got uh some christmas tobacco from a cup of Joe's which uh, if you want this tobacco then go on to cup of Joe's right now because they've just got um, some more in and it doesn't last long um, it's the C&D golden days of yore that one um, I 
I've tried this, I've got the 2017 um, batch, which was okay um, for a week. <laughs> I didn't want to smoke any more, if I'm honest, but it gets you in the Christmas spirit, like all of these Christmas kind of uh, tobaccos do. Just a bowl every, um, you know, day or so, you know, a couple of day maybe, and um, like that little design on the front. My favourite um, C&D Christmas one has got to be a uh, corncob pipe and a button nose, which um, I quite like actually. This is okay. Um, yeah, I've got seven tins of it, <laughs> so I must think it's all right. It's just to go in the cellar, really. Holiday 2020. Um, so yeah, I think. Um, smoking pipes have still got corn cob pipe and a button nose available um, which is I think by far their best Christmas tobacco I uh, yeah it that one tastes of kind of marshmallows and chocolate so you might you might think oh that sounds awful um, but it gets you in that spirit of Christmas doesn't it so yeah I picked these up um, came very quickly from Cup of Joe's and they've They've got it back on the website if you uh, if you if you want some. So I'll stick those in the cellar and open them next Christmas or whenever. Um, I'm not that excited about them. Um, yeah. So cigar-wise, I got some of these Toscano's Antico. Uh, those ones. They're quite large. And um, I was online and uh, chatting about them, and a uh, very nice guy from Italy um, told me what you do with them. So I've been smoking them as is, like that, <laughs> puffing on them. It goes from a, a, a small end up to a thicker middle, and um, basically what you do, you cut them in half. You cut them down the middle with a sharp knife, very sharp knife, because it's quite a, you know, the wrapper is very, very hard, and you do risk breaking the wrapper and uh, splitting the wrapper in the inside of the uh, of the cigar. I'll uh, I'll open it up because you probably can't see it properly. Yeah, that's what they look like, and they're really, really nice. You. Just chop it down the middle there, and you've got two um, quite nice little cigars. Very, very rustic. The kind of the kind of cigar that um, uh, you'd seen in old western. Uh, good, the bad, and the ugly, and and such uh, films. But yeah, it's a very dark, very musty, rich wrapper. And a really quite a rich and flavourful smoke, and uh, Toscano cigars, really good. Um, just getting into them, really. The problem being is when you've been spoiled with uh, high-end Cubans and such, <laughs> such things, you um, you neglect things like this and you miss out. But I really like these. These are aged 12 months, um, so. They've got some real depth of flavour and uh, again, with a coffee or your favourite uh, drink, excellent, really nice, highly recommended. Um, di uh, dip in tobacco, I've been on this. You get these from the, um, from the big green tubs, so I've been uh, filling them up. You just fill them up with your favourite dip which mine is Stoker's Wintergreen and um, yeah that's it and on the snuff side SP number one I'm just looking at the clock guys and it's a countdown I've got about 10 seconds left hope you're all well many many thanks for your messages and hopefully see you soon take care of yourselves out there all the best bye